What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Gaming 27 I'm back again with a brand new video. Uh, today, I want to talk about the Xbox One S. Uh, the reason why I want to talk about it because we just finally got the hardware, uh, you know, charts from VG Charts. And basically, yes, they rarely give us information about that. Sometimes they can go months without an update, and we finally got an update. And for the weekly hardware chart for October 15th, the Xbox One S sold over 200,000 consoles worldwide you know it says 224,000 but we already know that VG charts is not always accurate but it's really pretty close to uh, what the uh, sales are and of course uh, you know the PS4 is still outselling them worldwide you know of course because of Japan you know um, you know that's pretty much their territory uh, well that's pretty much PlayStation uh, 4 territory you know and I, I don't know why Microsoft continuously keep putting their products out there in Japan because nobody cares about it so if uh, if there was actually a presence for the Xbox one in Japan then it would be uh, more closer of a dogfight with the uh, PlayStation 4 versus the Xbox one but in America uh, there is a slight you know a difference with with the um, with the sales, the uh, Xbox One S sold over 130,000 versus 81,000 for the PlayStation 4, and of course, a lot of a lot of that has to you know to do with the uh, Gears of War 4, you know, a game that came out, fantastic game, wonderful game. I love the game. The game is fantastic. I cannot give this game enough credit. This game is wonderful. Uh, but the reason why I want to make this video because, of course, you got the PlayStation 4 Pro that's coming out. I believe next week or something like that. Um, you know, don't get, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. I do want to get this PlayStation 4 Pro. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it day one. I'm really thinking about it. I'm really thinking about it. But as far as the Xbox One is, I will be getting it. And, of course, you got these Black Friday deals. I might just wait to Black Friday because you got the you could get the Xbox One S and the PlayStation 4 Slim for $250. Uh, the PlayStation 4 Slim, uh, I don't want that dog shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sony. Why the hell do you want to bring out a PlayStation 4 Slim? And the console looks even uglier than my standard PlayStation 4. You took a feature out of it that some you did kind of pissed off some of your gamers. And it does not offer what the Xbox One S offers. And they are the same price. So that's one thing I don't get. And plus, why not just, you know, why not just buy the PlayStation 4 Pro? It's only an extra hundred dollars if you want the if you if you want the full experience of the damn console, you know. But as far as the Xbox One S versus the PlayStation 4 Pro. I'm not even gonna count the slim because that was a waste of money for on Sony's behalf. I don't know why they did that, but I know that Black Friday is approaching and there's gonna be some really good mega deals that's gonna be out on the shelves and everything for y'all to come running like a damn stampede trying to get these damn sales like a little crazed buffoon. But like I say, just look at the pricing of the Xbox One S. It's going to be two hundred and fifty dollars versus the PlayStation Four. Pro that's going to be four hundred dollars. There's no way in hell Sony's going to allow these retailers to sell the PlayStation 4 Pro is going to be a, a brand new console this holiday for three fifty. That's not going to happen. Maybe next holiday, but not this holiday. But you got the Xbox One S that's going to be two fifty. Of course, you got the PlayStation 4 Slim's gonna be 250, but nobody cares about that piece of crap PlayStation 4 Slim. I don't know why. I don't know why Sony did that. I, you know, of course they trying to save some money, trying to cut costs on the optical port. It's just stupid. They kind of pissed some gamers off of that, but you know that that's um, that's just a waste of money, in my opinion. But look at the price gap of 250 dollars for the Xbox One S versus the PlayStation 4 Pro. Y'all gotta tell me this. Do y'all think that a you know? Of course, a lot of casual gamers buy video game systems every holiday. That's just how it is. But are y'all telling me that a lot of people that's going to buy all these video game you know, consoles are going to buy a PlayStation 4 Pro that costs $400 versus an Xbox One S costs $250 that offers HDR, you know, offers Ultra 4K Blu-ray, even you know in which a lot of people love to watch movies and a lot of people actually own 4k TVs and they offers upscaling to 4k this system offers a lot for $250 like I said before I got co-workers got I know a lot of people that 
buying an Xbox One S just for that feature, the Ultra HD Blu-ray player. I'm just being honest with y'all. In closing, I believe that the um, Xbox One S is going to outsell the PlayStation 4 Pro. I know in America, but worldwide, I'm not sure because we already know, you know, uh, you know, Europe is Sony's territory and Japan, that's all Sony. Nobody cares about the Xbox One S in Japan. But I think it's going to be a dogfight, you know, but with the holidays, I don't know. If I would choose, I'm going to make a... I'm going to make a bold statement. I'm going to say Xbox One S is going to outsell the PlayStation 4 for the holidays worldwide. I know some of y'all going to call me crazy, but these insane deals that's going on with the Xbox One S, you know, the Xbox One S is already cheap right now. It's going to be a lot cheaper. I'm just looking at the price gap between the PlayStation 4 Pro and the, X and the Xbox One S. So, you know, Xbox One, Xbox, so Microsoft uh, in general as a company is turning around this Xbox division because they basically was not doing as well a couple of years ago. This is a huge turnaround, and congratulations to Microsoft. Just keep it going, you know, keep keep that great customer service going, keep the great games going, and, you know, as far as a gamer, you know, I'm just happy to be a gamer. You know, it's, it's you know, some stuff that needs to get improved with, with Microsoft, not just Microsoft, Sony, man. You know, we, we need more games, we need more exclusives. I like how we got more exclusives uh, this, this you know, this fall we're recording. You know, you go you got Forza, you got Gears of War 4, great game, fantastic game. I love the game. You know, of course we got to have we're about to get Dead Rising 4. And of course, uh, there was another game that's uh that's an exclusive. Oh, you got Sea of Thieves and, and uh Crackdown 4 is coming. I don't know, I'm not sure when that's coming out. But um and there was another game I just cannot think about right now. It's another exclusive. But you know, I like how we get more exclusives, and matter of fact, Phil Spencer, he he already came out and confirmed on Twitter that we're going to get more exclusives pretty soon. I'm pretty sure we're going to find out at E3, but, you know, I guess with Sony's behalf, I would love to see more exclusives. And I know I know we got Uncharted 4 that came out earlier this year. You know, of course, you got that dog shit, No Man's Sky, and of course, you got the... Um, what's that? What's that? What's that bird dog game? Uh, the Last Guardian that's gonna come out pretty soon. I really hadn't heard a word from that in a minute. I don't know what the hell's going on with that game. Maybe I got delayed again, whatever. But as far as, as exclusives goes, I, I would like for more exclusives to come on both consoles, man. So it, it can separate from each other. We got too many of the same games on both consoles, and I don't like that. I don't. You know, Xbox One. You no, know, Xbox One is really my platform of choice, but I don't mind playing third-party games or multiplayer games on my on my PlayStation 4. I own both consoles, so I, I just love video games in general. But you know, the, the main you know point for this video is I, I think that the Xbox One S is going to slightly edge the PlayStation 4 Pro this holidays just because of the price gap of the you know between the both consoles. But it could be different, and y'all just let me know how y'all feel about this. Do y'all think that? Xbox One S is going to outsell the PlayStation 4 Pro this coming up holiday, you know, just because of the price gap, or do y'all think since um, this generation has been just based on power, and since Sony said they got the most powerful console ever, in which I think they kind of misinform a lot of people because X uh, Xbox Scorpio is about to come out pretty soon, and they will no longer be the most powerful console ever because the Xbox Scorpio is going to take that title. You know, like I say, this console generation has been based on power. Maybe the PlayStation 4 Pro might outsell the uh, Xbox One S because of power. But I'm just looking at the, I'm looking at the price difference. Yeah, you remember how the Wii, you know, was way less powerful than the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3, but it was a lot cheaper. And look how that turned out. That's why my analogy is that you know the Xbox One S is going to outsell the PlayStation 4 Pro because of the price gap in the PlayStation 4 is $400 versus $250 because of the Black Friday sales. But y'all just give me y'all thoughts and y'all opinions on how y'all feel about this. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel. And once again, it's your boy, Regame27. Y'all have a good day.